Hi, I'm Leon from Regina Sailing and today I'll show you what happens if the electrical system for furling the mainsail doesn't work. It can happen, it's electronics, you might not have any power, who knows. So there is always a manual backup and that's quite important actually. So the manual backup is controlled by this um, little lever here. So first of all, what you do when the sail is out is that you have to detach the electrical motor which is in here from the gearbox. And that you do by pressing this button here and turning this around sideways. So now the electrical motor is detached from, um, the, um, from the gears. So now you have to turn this to engage the two warm gears here. So therefore, sail the Liver, delivers uh, or you can use one of these handles but very often it is actually too short if you have a look here because you have a winch here so here they have prolonged this piece by welding a little prolonging piece here so you can turn it in there put it there there it is and then what you do you press in here and you turn three or four turns and then it gets harder and harder and harder and that's when you got it. So now you, they are engaged, these gears. So now, very slowly, you can see how the sail is getting into the uh, mast. It can take very long time, uh, but at least you can get it in. And of course, you have to release, in this case, it's this one, the outhaul at the same time. Because what I'm right now doing, I'm stretching it, as you can see, and I have to release the outhaul. So ideally, we have a second person releasing this uh, in, in the uh, cockpit. And here, I have the possibility to put this onto this winch, so I can now release it manually while continue furling in. But it's a very, very slow thing to turn it in. But at least it works. A little hack here is that this is actually a standard uh, thing for tools. So you can go into any Bauhaus or I don't know, tool or iron mongery and buy this little thing here. That is a thing that you can put into an electric drill and on the other side it just has these fitting for standard tools. So here you go. So now you can put this in here, there, and if it's turned the right way, the sail is going in. I have to put that on a bit more there. Release this one, the out hole. And that's how you can fall in the mainsail by this tool. And now when we want to go back to the um, electrical system, we have to detach the wheel. So you pull that anti-clockwise, that thing comes out here. And now the problem is that you still can't pull that out. So that is not working. So you really have to, now it's detached again, turn this and this turns here. So twice a turn, you can then feel here that it is possible to, um, to pull this in here. Here, there. Ah, did I miss? There. There you go. So that's what it is. And now you can't turn this anymore uh, because the engine is um, uh, engaged. So you release this again here and out comes that little screw that has a spring pressure. And when you want to get out the sail, well, the same thing applies here that you uh, turn that there to detach the engine and now actually this is free so you can actually pull it out by hand so mainly the wind is doing its job by pulling this out but the most important thing is of course to get in the sail or the sail in so let's do it the fast way so let's take the tool just put it in and to get the sail in again here we go so you can continue sailing in safety comfort and style